Welcome back to P2. Today we're looking at changing the base of a logarithm, unit 3.5. Now, sometimes you do need to be able to rewrite a logarithm in a different base. I should say though that it's become less important now since if you have a newer calculator with this log function, this log key on it, then this whole method and things becomes less important. So when I was in school, this function, this button didn't exist. And a lot of students still have a slightly older calculator where this button doesn't exist. So if you're one of the students that does have an older calculator, you will need to know this. Uh, those of you that have the, the latest calculators where you have this particular button what we're doing in this video will become less important it's certainly worth knowing but it will be a little less important now let's have a little look at it so essentially if i have a log like this to the base a and i rewrite it as a power i would end up with this then i take logs of both sides like we did in the previous video so this time call it log to the base b so we do that to both sides then i want to bring my power down using one of my rules of logs okay and then what we do is we look up here and look we've already got m m is log x to the base a so i've now got log x to the base a multiplied by log a to the base b equals log x to the base b and then i'm going to divide by log a to the base b and that is simply so that on my right side i've got all the logs with the same basis and there we have a useful identity that we can use to change the base of um, any logarithm. Now, one useful thing to take from this as well, and this is regardless of what calculator you have, if x equals b, we get log a B, so log of b to the base a we get log of b to the b over log of b a log of a to the base b and then this is just one so if i rewrite this i get log of b to the base a is one over log of a to the base b so that's actually quite useful in terms of switching things around you know if i've got log of seven to the base three it's the same as log of three to the base seven okay so you can use this rule quite nicely and quite quickly in some problems and then if i go from this side and give you an example of something that you know i want to find i've got a problem and i want to turn it into you know i've got say log of seven to the base three. And in my older calculators, I'd often use this as a log to the base 10, because that was one of the buttons within the calculator. So log to the base 10 will be log of seven to the base 10 over log of three to the base 10. And that is essentially how we used to be able to solve these log problems before we got this wonderful button on our calculator. Now, I'll give you a couple of questions to have a little go at. Um, not too many, as I said, this is becoming less and less important as technology improves. So for these ones, just try and use the method that we went through. So I'm going to use log to the base E. 
as that's quite an easy button to use on my calculator. And I'll get 1.72, apologies, 30, the three decimal places. And of course, I can check my answer using this button on my calculator. Okay, so I'll do the rest uh, speed it up.